Well, thank you for coming into the channel. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Proverbs, Psychology Through Theology, Chapter 26, 23. Father, we pray for Israel. We pray for people that have lost loved ones right across the world. We pray for people that are addicted and haven't been able to find their way out. They're trying to find the light through addictions. Lord, we ask you to show them your light and to show them your way in the name of Jesus and by the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Proverbs 26 and 23. Psychology through theology. Like glaze covering an earthen vessel are burning lips and a wicked heart. We don't see what's going on completely inside the person. We rely on our partner to tell us where they're at and how they feel and where they're up to and what they need and what adjustments they want us to make, if it's fair. A lot of people are covert when it comes to how they truly feel. They don't tell us what they're supposed to. They don't tell us what they should to help us to be in a, a relationship that's going to work for them. Um, I've been in the sun all day and then I went winging this afternoon, had a big day. And we depend on our partners to show us what's going to prevent wickedness, what's going to prevent burning words and mouth and heart to turn wicked on us. And it's so subtle and it's so stealth and sometimes our partner doesn't even know that the glaze covering their urban vessel, the mirror that they're showing, the mask that they're wearing, covering what's truly happening inside, inside their heart. The map that we need to see that's going to help them to show us how we can navigate our part in the relationship to help them flourish, to help them to move away from wickedness, the wickedness of the heart, the deceitfulness of the heart, the contentions and contrariness of the human heart, the part of the human heart that deceives and gets resentful and bitter and twisted, the part that gets stirred up because we cover with a mask how we truly are. Some of us need other people to look at to be able to mirror what we think we need to be. But inside our urban vessel, we're empty. There's something missing. Or we have resentments and conceitednesses and we despise things and there's things that we just don't share. Instead of our lips flowing with living water, they're burning. They're burning with things that we haven't resolved and that's what happens when we glaze over things instead of resolving them? Too many of us are covering over the skeletons in the closet. We're covering over the stuff that we're putting under the mat, under the carpet. And our urban vessel suffers. We turn wicked. We turn to addictions. We turn to medications. I remember my second wife. She was so heavily medicated, I didn't realize. I just did not realize. I thought it was just medicine. Only later to find out that the damage that it was doing to her body and her organs and to her mind was irreprehensible. It's like I never ever knew that woman. And that's what relationships can be like when we glaze over, we cover over, the things that we need to bring to the surface, the things that we need to talk about. Intimacy goes instead of kissing lips. You can't kiss burning lips. They hurt. You can't kiss the lips of someone that's saying wicked things behind your back and hateful things about you when you're not around. Even in the heart, the heart has, has words, our mind has words. And this glazing, this covering over of the things that we need to share that 
may be detrimental to us. They burn. They burn because we need to express what we truly feel, even if it's to our own detriment. But instead of facing things and bringing things to the surface, we push them to the side. And the skeletons will come out of the closet. The maggots will come out of the soul. The blister will break. The scab will come off. And that's why we shouldn't like to glaze over things. You'll find many people that don't want to face the true issues will glaze over things. They'll have a toxic happiness. They'll have a toxic joy and if you don't follow that toxicity again we go back to the backbiting and the gossip and the lips that speak wickedness about people that really haven't done anything wrong this is where the hatred starts and the the breakups and we can pretend nothing's wrong and keep turning up and be numb to ourselves and Go through the motions. But at the end of it all, somebody's going to get burnt. Somebody's going to experience the wicked end, the wicked heart. And they're going to take off the covering, the glazed over covering. And we're going to see what's really going on underneath. And it'll be like the sun in our eyes will wonder what 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 is this like what's happened here because proverbs ten eighteen says the one who conceals hatred has lying lips you see burning lips lying lips and a wicked heart are no different to somebody covering over hatred when you conceal hatred that hatred will show through words and whoever spreads slander is a fool. And these people are foolish because they start to slander the people that they love. They listen to people slandering the people that they love. And this causes hatred. Because when you conceal things, when you're not being honest about things and you're concealing it, that builds up resentment. That builds up stress. And that stress causes Hatred, because nobody wants unresolved. And it spreads. The hatred starts to spread through the psyche. The psyche starts to say things that you didn't really want to say. And the one who conceals hatred has lying lips. We know that because you see it. Th those lips will speak lies. And those lips will spread slander. And those lips will show that the person that you love possibly is a fool and I'm sorry I know that's in your face but when you cover over the things that you need to share the things that are on your heart even if you do it gently I've tried every angle of attack every angle of surrender to try and fix things in relationships and like glaze covering over in an urban vessel you, it's very hard to stop the burning lips and the wicked heart too often we forget that we are to be strong in the Lord. Many of you have Christian backgrounds and you've turned away from your God. It might be time for you to come back your way, your private way. Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power and put on the full armor of God so that you may... So that you can make your stand against the devil's schemes. These are the devil's schemes. The covering over. Teaching people to cover over things that they need to let out. Through their mouth by expressing things. By looking for resolve. So that they can change their heart from a wicked heart to a pure heart. And when we put on the full armor of God. We can make our stand against the devil's schemes 
and this puts people out when we know that there's people that have got a grudge against us or some kind of um, ideology that's formed them to have a wicked um, idealism of us we can stand against the devil's schemes not the person but the devil's schemes that's why in most cases it's not worth confronting somebody when you know it's not real for our struggles not against flesh and blood viewers but against the rulers and against the authorities against the powers of the world's darkness these powers are at work And if you can't discern the difference between the powers of darkness, the sinful nature, and somebody's attitudes working together, that person's probably deceived, they're in the dark, then how are you going to go against the spiritual forces of evil in heavenly places? You're just looking at the glazed cover. You're not getting to the urban vessel. And you're not discerning that the things that are being said are smooth words the bible says like glaze covering an open vessel are smooth lips burning lips see sometimes people just say what they think you want to hear and that leaves us at the mercy of the covert wicked heart it's covert the glaze covering is the covert aspect of all the things people have when they dislike us because whoever conceals hatred instead of bringing it to the surface and resolving it has lying lips has smooth lips and whoever spreads slander is a fool you can stand against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms by the Lord Jesus Christ by faith in him That's where we need to get back to, the cross. I'm Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist, Central Coast, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you for joining me and bye for now.